Hey guys, Kevin Muldoon here. What I've got here is the Anchor Astro E1. This is a power bank that holds 5,200 milliamps. Now, I will be using this over the weekend, so I'm gonna get a good test of it. Just quickly show you the mini minimal packaging. Just got some things that tell you how you can use it on the road, etc. Not a lot to it, to be honest. So, let's see what's in the box. We've got the device. And underneath, I believe, we have another little box that will hopefully have the charging cable. There we go, so it's another little box there. And down at the bottom we have a welcome guide and a little thing saying if you're not happy. Or if you're happy to contact them. Now Anchor are very well known for their good customer service, so if you did have a problem with this, um, you know, if, I, if there's any problems with the device, I'm sure that if I contact them, they would send a replacement or anything like that. The welcome guide just explains how to use it. But I've used power banks many things before, so I won't need that. Okay, let's see what's in here. So. This one, um, as I say, is 5,200 milliamps. And how many charges you get with that really depends on what you're charging. But, um, you know, I'd probably do like two, an iPhone twice. I have a larger Google Nexus 6P, which has got a, I think it's just under 3,500 milliamp, the, the, the battery. So I'll get about a charge and a half on my phone. It's got a little portable USB cable. And I really love this little carry case. This is something that um, a lot of companies are doing. This is the one that I get with my larger power bank, the one I've got for the, the RAV power. It's a lot bigger. But I really like that because it's going to keep your device all nice and shiny. So, here we go. This is the power bank. Nothing in the bottom there. It's all shiny black. You can get it in blue, red, white, and black. The black was the cheapest at £11.99 at the moment. And that's why I went for that. Put the anchor device there. There's a button there. And you can see it's got it's got four lights there. And it's only at uh, one. So it shows you that it needs charged. And it's got the input for charging. And it's got... The USB port. Now the IQ thing. This is all these um, power companies. They're all using something similar. I think the one for Rav Power. They call it iSmart Plus. They're calling it IQ, and but it's all the same thing. It just basically means that you get the correct charge to the device. Now one of the biggest things that I wasn't sure about buying this was size, and feels really good. Feels okay in the pocket. The key trick for me was to see how it felt in the pocket whilst having it with my phone. Seems pretty good. Doesn't seem too bad. Now, to put it in comparison, I've got a, a few other power banks. This is a beast of a thing. It's nearly, um, at, where is it, 16,000 milliamps capacity. So that's a big one. That You know, that's more than three times the capacity of this one. But this is the kind of thing that it's too big and bulky to take about all day. You could fit in your jeans pocket or in your jacket pocket, but it's going to weigh you down. This is the sort of thing you want to be putting in your, your rucksack or your backpack. This is the kind of thing that you can take with you all day. Now, there are smaller ones. This is the RAV Power. This is like a little, they call it a lipstick one. This is roughly about half the size of this. It's about the same length and it's about the same thickness. But it's about half the width. Now, I'll do a comparison of these another day, I'm gonna, um, but really, I just wanted to show you kind of where it fits in in the power banks. This one is 3,350 milliamps. This one is 5,200. So although this is about double the size, you get about, you know, about 60, 70% more. Um, don't quote me in that though. I'm just doing maths at the top of my head. Isn't it? So that's the RAV power stick, and this is obviously very lightweight, but this one, it's not much more heavier like this one. It is a bit heavier, but not significantly, I wouldn't say. So the idea is you put this 
And yeah, put it in with your little USB cable and just take it out with you during the day. Pretty straightforward. It measures 3.8 by 1.7 by 0.9 inches. And if we can get that in millimetres, where does it say? Doesn't matter, does it say that there? Nope, so what we'll do is, so there. So it's about, what's that, about nine and a half centimetres. It's about this direction, it's about, let me see in width, it is about just over three and a half, about 3.6. And thickness, it's about 1.7, 1.8. And you can see this isn't, that's obviously went for the round design. This one is kind of curved around the edges, so it's a smooth design. Now I want to do most some more tests on this, test the power and see what we're getting from it. But when we do it through the magic of television, I'll be back. I'm going to be using this over the next few days, and when I'm back, I'll do those tests. So after a few days in Germany, I've got to know this device a little bit better. One of my main concerns was that it was going to be a little bit bulky, a little bit heavy, but that is not what I, I found to be the case. On the Friday when I was travelling at the airport I wore jeans and on the way back on the Sunday I wore jeans. This was in my pocket next to my wallet the whole time. The other times it was so warm in Germany it was something like 35 degrees or 37 degrees at one point and I wore shorts but it was kind of like jean shorts so the pockets were quite similar. I do think it will depend on the jeans that I'm wearing but most of the jeans that I have the pockets will be big enough to have this and the wallet or this on my phone and there's no complaints in that regard. It's not too big. I always um, thought that the lipstick the kind of one would be better. You know, it might have less capacity, but it's lighter. But I'm glad I've got this. I think this is a better all-round device. A little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but you've got the added capacity. You know, I think maybe when you start getting a little bit bigger, you know, the devices above this range, you've got 8,000, 10,000 milliamps. For me, they're a little bit too big. Be different if you're carrying it around in a bag, obviously, but for something in your pocket, I think this is the perfect size. Now, one of the things I picked up yesterday was this little USB tester because I was charging my phone with this every single day when I was out and about. Most of the time was at the towards the end of the day when I was out, but I just wanted to check some stats on this. Now, obviously, if you're you're walking around and you're, you're charging things. You're not really, um, this in here. You're not really sitting, looking at your battery life. You know, if you, I was on a stag do, I wasn't going to sit for, you know, checking my phone, checking at the rate that it was charging at all times. So it'll be interesting to see how it gets on. Now I'll just pull this up. Try and get the stats. In fact, I'm going to zoom in here, get a little bit closer. Is that coming on? Get this in focus. This camera always focuses on the wrong thing. Doesn't matter what you do. Right. You can't see it here, but I'll. I'll Put it around maybe this part you can see better. Now you can see here it's pulling 5.13 volts and it's doing 1.3 amps. Now the E1 can do up to 2 amps. Whether you get 2 amps really depends on the cable that you're using and it depends on the device that you're charging. Now an example of that is this has got high speed charging. This is a Google Nexus 6P it's got high speed charging but it does most of its fast charging in the first like 50% or so and then it slows the charge down, that's to protect the battery. If you had something a little bit more powerful, it would maybe use the full 2 amps. So I'll, see, I'll just I'll do an example of that, I'll show you something different. I've got my JBL speaker here, now this could be more or less, I've got no idea but it's worth giving it a try. So this is a JBL speaker. And this one is only pulling 0.4 amps at the moment. So that shows you the difference. 
5.21 volts going through. Now, as, as far as the, space, uh, the specs go, apparently the anchor can do two amps and five volts. And you saw there, that actually just jumped up to uh, 1.8 amps. So the current can go up and down. It really depends on the device that's being charged. So that's something to bear in mind, you know. I'm not really worried about that. I don't think I'm going to see any problems with that. The cable that comes with it seems fine. This is the cable that comes with it. It's a standard micro, uh, micro B USB cable. All I've did is added this little connector so that it can connect to the USB Type-C connector um, that the Nexus uses. So this is the cable that comes with it. And um, in fact, what I could do, just quickly, we'll try this with the JBL. To see, I doubt it's going to make any difference whatsoever, but I'm here anyway. Let's try it. So that's with the cable. We're getting it's the same thing, you know 5.22 volts and 0 0.41 amps with that. So there's more current being drawn from my Google Nexus 6P. I actually didn't think I would see that. I thought. I would see a lot more current being pulled to the speaker, but it looks like that's quite a low power device when it, as far as charging goes. Um, this thing can also can, um, show capacity and things like that, but it's not something I've tested yet. I think you'd have to let it run for a few days. Anchor products normally come with a, an 18 month guarantee and obviously you can return it to your store if there's any problems with it, but I don't foresee any problems with that whatsoever. I've been very happy with it so far. I'll, what I'm going to do in the future, um, I'll do a test, with more details with this in the future if you do want to do more testing. But what I'd like to do in the future is do a, a kind of more comprehensive overview about the, the size of power banks and do a comparison. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions about this device, please let me know in the comment area. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking, sharing or subscribing. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.